Howdy. Welcome to the Fantasy Back Porch Hour. We are Will D. Howdy, howdy. Hakuna Matata, brother. He's no worries. Damn straight. Yeehaw. Sleeves the Fantasy Alchemist. I am Bear. This is Outlaw. Let's do it. Is that incense still burning? It is. That's okay, all I can good. smell. It's in my nose. Okay, good. So in this segment, we're going to talk about people who totally shit the bed week, too. Also known as the Fantasy Heartbreak. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, first off, I'd like to talk about Ray Rice. He, he, yeah, that hurt. I mean, physically yeah. and emotionally, yeah. that yeah. hurt. I, a, hip, a hip flexor? I've had a hip flexor injury. It's not fun. Yeah, at least uh, at least Malcolm Floyd put up some big numbers before he left the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah not so much from Ray. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Another, hey, other thing, all of my starting wide receivers in every league I'm in. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like Larry Fitzgerald? All of them got hurt. Well, Fitzgerald didn't Fitzgerald get hurt. didn't get hurt. He was already hurt. Neither he did just Reggie played Wayne. like it. No, well, he did get hurt. Reggie Wayne just got stuffed. He did get hurt. He mm-hmm. finished the game, but he played like shit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, also, Eddie Lacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 What do you get? One See, point I told you, out for the game. Yeah. But I told you last week that in week two, I get rocked with injuries and abysmal performances from my team. I've yeah. never won a game in week two, and continuing that tradition, I lost across the board in every league. But apparently... Pop, that- it's okay. Week three... Recovery. All right, until you play me in week 10. Just a small aside, who'd you lose to in week 2? My, my team has a hangover right now. Okay. Yeah. Also this week, that totally shit the bed, and Quan Bolden. We kind of saw that one coming, <laughs> but we didn't, didn't. We didn't see the one poor, catch right? coming. No, just, not Just that one poor. catch. I mean, and he was wide open in the end zone. Yeah, he What's was. What's up with Kaepernick that hitting the yeah. wide open Dude. guy in the end zone? They wide open still being cut. and doing this. Hit! Anquan Bolden. I'm losing because you didn't hit Anquan Bolden. Yeah, and then what does he do? Looks to the other side of the field and runs for, what, two yards? Yeah. I never wanted Alex Smith to be a quarterback in my entire life than in that game. <laughs> he would have done so much better than Kaepernick in that game. Another one who shit the bed. Colin Kaepernick. Right. Yeah. Well, you suck. No? Well, he went 4 2 first week. What, yeah, he seven second week. Against Green Bay's defense. Yeah, and but against a next. real defense, he shits the bed. And you know what? Well, Steven Jackson, too. Steven Jackson also. Steven Jackson went down. Yeah. Granted, he did get the touchdown before he went down, yeah. but still. Jason Witten was another one. Three receptions, 12 yards. Yeah. Really? But again, Witten? yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, but in Kansas City against that defense, and I know they're not great, but they're good. And they're better. They have a better defense than Dallas yeah. has an offense. Yeah, and you know what? Kansas City has a better record than Dallas. Yeah. yeah. So they're showing it. Kansas well, City yeah. has tied their win total this year. From last year. Already. This week, too. How about everybody on San Francisco? Everybody on San Francisco sucked last week. Yeah, they did, yeah. pretty much. I mean, that's they a lot did. of credit to Seattle's defense. It is. But, really? Three points? Yeah. That's it, all you guys can muster? Yeah. The Panthers scored more. On yeah. Them. yeah. The Panthers. Yeah. Against Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. The 49ers just completely crapped out. They did. As a whole. It won't happen this week. Of course, Harbaugh is going to have their ass. Oh, he is. Yes. It's going to be bad. Another guy who, who had a terrible week, but we all really enjoyed this one, was Steven Ridley. Well, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, had, they still won. He didn't have a yeah. good week last week. Yeah, I know, but he's the number one running he back. He had a better week. He's supposed to be. Well, he is. He is now. Yeah. yeah. But, Until Brandon Bolton takes his job. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, that might happen, but it's still not a viable. <laughs> no, no it's player. not, but still. No. Don't, don't, don't pick up Bolton. Brent Selleck had zero right. points. No, right now everyone's Zero right now everyone's going. Who, who, who yeah. the hell is Brandon Bolden? Yeah, don't, yeah. don't stay away. From That's him. what I'm saying. It's I'm not just, Brandon, Bolden, Brandon Bolden is the guy that yeah. came out of nowhere last year and leached like two touchdowns in a game, and a bunch of people yeah. picked him up. And don't the majority don't of the time he saw the field after that yeah. was from the sideline. Yeah, yeah don't, don't be that don't. guy. Mm-hmm. Just because if a guy you never heard of scores a touchdown, you don't get excited. Just yeah. like we weren't all we're, we weren't all sold on Julius Thomas after week one. Yeah. He's starting to sell us a little bit now. He is. If you have bench space, you can pick him up and wait and see what he does. Yeah. I can you cannot you. throw him right into your lineup. He's been picked. You have to wait. He's Thomas? been picked. Mm-hmm. Julius Thomas? Yeah, he's, oh, been, yeah, he's been picked. Someone up jumped on him hard last week. And yeah, you know yeah. what? But you I know what? I guarantee you. Again, he'll end up being a good pickup, though. Maybe, though. Because he had half the points this week that he had last week, and if he keeps on that trend... Okay, half yeah. of 30 is 15. That's still good from yes, a tight end. But then next week it's 7. from a tight end. And then the week after that it's 3, it's and then it's zeros. I don't see the trend continuing that way. I don't either. Not with Peyton Manning as a quarterback. Not going to happen. It could. No. Because tight ends overall, great week one, pretty good week two, 
Next week's well, going to be decent. The week after that's going to be what, average. We got to see what and happens. And then they're going to go back to normal. Yeah. Week two yeah. is week two is way too early to tell yeah, if the, Titans are back. Defenses still haven't. They've had two weeks now, two games now, and actually before this, you know, playing week two, well, they've had one game to hit somebody. Yeah. Now they've had two. Next week they'll have three. By the time it's week eight, yeah. tight ends are going to be back to the same average position they are. Yeah. There's going to be your standouts. Right. And every week there's going to be one tight end that shows up. Oh, yeah. But there overall, is. in average, they're not going to be your top threats. No. But as of right now, there's several tight ends that you could play in a flex. There are. Yes, right now. But that's going to discontinue as the, as the, years, as the weeks go on. proceed with caution, I can say. Proceed with caution on jumping on that tight end wagon. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> now, certain ones, like Jordy Cameron, I'd yeah. jump all over him. He's their best receiver. Yeah. As, yeah. Other than Trent Richardson, he's the only fantasy play. Yeah. If, if I had the opportunity, I would climb on his shoulders like the commercial, and I'd ride him to the championship game. Yeah. He could definitely, he could yeah. very easily take you there because yes, he, could he be is that the player. guy. Yeah. He is the guy that Whedon is going to throw to. You have an average team, and you got Jordan Cameron as your tight end. Your average team That's just now became really good. Yeah. You you may be relevant at that point. Exactly. So those are pretty much the players that totally sucked last week. Probably won't suck all year long. No, 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 no. It's just, just you know, just a just a heartbreak, you know, heartbreak for week two. But you know what? Are you gonna bench Reggie Wayne just for no, no never a terrible no. performance? You, you don't bench Reggie. You know when you bench him? Bye week. Yeah. Or if, if, if he has a legitimate injury, just like Larry Fitzgerald, you're yeah. not gonna yeah. bench him. No. Because you're not gonna bench Frank Gore. I you're play, not gonna bench these guys. I'd play a one-legged, one-armed Larry Fitzgerald against most wide receivers. Right. Wow. I would. That's saying something. It's like Dwayne Bow. You know, aerodynamic hair, man. Yeah. Dwayne Bow. You know. As long as you keep coming up with the beautiful one-handed catches. Yeah. yeah. So those are the people that played like crap this week. Yep. Stay frosty, my friends.